Hey Libra, how's it going? This is going to be your new moon, which occurred on the 17th of July. New moon in Cancer reading, and it's also going to be your end of July 2023 reading. So always take what resonates. You know to always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings for additional clarity and messages, especially your moon sign when it's connected to like a full moon or a new moon energy. This is how it's going to affect your energy, this new moon in Cancer. The new moon is touching down on the most public sector of your chart, bringing new beginnings to everything from your sense of authority to your reputation. However, given that this lunation will take place in the sign of Cancer, this could revolve around a parental figure, if not your own parents, versus child dynamics. Your ruler Venus is already in its pre-retrograde shadow phase and via your 11th house of community settings and individual freedom, meaning that the combination of these energies is urging you to reevaluate the value of your personal and professional goals. Does this endeavor feel safe? Venus will also face off with Uranus, bringing excitement and novelty to your intimate affairs, Libra. You're cultivating a brand new sense of self-awareness, but with the moon sitting in opposition to your Plato retrograde, it's time to put an end to old ways and power dynamics within, your, within yourself and your family union. This is especially true with the South Node making its debut in your sign for the first time since 2006. That's amazing. That, remember, this is especially true with the South Node making its do its do debut into your own sign Libra for the first time since 2006. There's going to be a huge significance on intimate relationships during this new moon energy. Wow, our south node, the south node is in our sign. And hasn't been there since 2006. That's crazy if you think about it. All right, let's see. Look at the bigger picture. Sagittarius energy. Full moon in Sagittarius. Always reminds me of Cupid's arrow. All right, let's see what else from my Libras. Closing out the month of July. That's crazy. I just said in the other reading, I seriously can't believe we're already closing out July. Flowers, 11. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. And I love that. It's like this amazing like amethyst. I mean amethyst. Rose gold. Energy. It's almost like it is definitely about relationships. All right, let's see what else I can get. For my Libra spirit. For my Libras. Closing out July and this new moon. I feel like you're moving forward in a specific direction. I feel like there's definitely been growth within you. Um, and there's something brand new that you're embarking on. It's like you're being very active closing out the month of July. And it's like you're getting restless. And you're moving towards something very strong, very strong willed. I feel like it's your heart centered on what you're moving towards. Obviously, I'm picking up on Leo energy with the lion. You may have strong Leo in your chart. But it is divinely guided. It's like trusting in divine timing. And the time is now with it showing up. All right, Spirit, anything else for my Libras? Yes, it is in divine timing. 
What is coming towards you is faded. It is a shift of energy, karma in your favor. Deck judgment, just another significant energy showing through as being divinely orchestrated. You know, it's like you're re going through a time of reevaluation, Libra. You're looking at things long term. You want to know, like, you're feeling out what you want for your future. Like, in this pause type energy, you're really reevaluating everything. What you're leaving behind. It's like you're leaving a hot behind anything that feels like a runner to you. That comes in really quick into your life. Comes in as a night. Comes in really quick. And you almost wonder if you can trust what is coming towards you. I also feel that this is in a positive way. Your energy Libra. You're moving towards something fast forward. You're done with the past. You've been through that trans transformation. And there's something brand new coming in. But you're done with any of that fast type energy of somebody coming into your, into your life like a knight. And then might be that runner type energy or be free, like fear and commitment. What you're letting go of is this hanged man energy. You're ready. Like I said, you're becoming restless. You've done the soul searching. You're letting go of feeling at a stalemate. And you're moving forward. There's someone coming towards you, Libra. This is water energy, but there's somebody coming in. Very romantic for you. Someone who's going to pull out all the stops. Be very... Like a knight in shining armor. Being very romantic. Want to do like pull out the red carpet for you, Libra. Like just want to be able to show you how strong their emotions are. And there's the Wheel of Fortune twice. The month closing out and the energy that you find yourself in, how Venus is playing a role in your um in your relationships right now, it's divinely guided. Archangel Michael is protecting this. For some of you, it could definitely be an earth sign. But I feel more so that you've worked on your stability. You may have strong earth in your chart. It's the energy of you being grounded. You being ready for what's coming towards you. It will be an equal give and take. I love it. For my Libra spirit. I really feel that there's a fire sign who truly wants to move towards you. They want growth with you. I definitely feel a pause between you and this person. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, it, this is being divinely guided and orchestrated. Look at this. You could be at a distance from this person. I know I've showed this card to a few signs, so... Forgive me if I'm showing it to you again, but this is Destiny Airline. This cute deck in this, this cute card in this deck. This is a boarding pass of someone taking a leap of faith. That's where, where, the, where they're leaving, they're boarding from. And their arrival is that brand new cycle. A brand new beginning with you. 
I feel for some of you, this person is at a distance from you and they're traveling towards you. They want growth in this connection. And it leaves you feeling extremely happy. I don't feel you're expecting it, Libra. The happy squirrel, the happiness that's creeping up on you quickly in the the ending of this of the ending of this month. You see that little grin? Like I said, you've been through a lot of transformation. And you are moving forward. But there is communication coming in. And I feel like what's coming towards you, you're not expecting. And it's leaving you completely happy. There's definitely a twist of fate here. Someone's traveling towards you, Libra. They want to be with you. They're over the troubled waters. Some of you, I'm telling you, they're coming over a body of water, different state, different country, but they're traveling towards you and they're thinking long term. All right, spirit. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here twice? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here twice? Yeah, see? There were blockages. There was a big delay here. I feel two people in the energy of just a lot of soul searching and self-evaluation. You made yourself the priority. I feel up until this point of restlessness, you were focused on yourself, Libra. You still are, but you were just doing you. This person coming in was just doing them. All right. Anything additional where this twist of fate is coming from? Yeah, this is a brand new cycle. Brand new beginning. And this person wants to go the distance with you. I really feel like you've been through some tough times, Libra. You're holding your sword up. You're not expecting what's coming in. But I feel what is being divinely guided towards you is going to help you lower your sword. Here's angel protection that flipped out as soon as I started shuffling. Your angels are protecting you and watching over you. Wheel of Fortune twice with that judge, judgment and now angel protection. All right, Spirit, anything else for Libra? Closing out the month of July and the energy of this new moon. Making a decision. You have a choice to make. It's up to you to make the right choice. It's like you're going to be going for a walk in the park or a stroll. You're going to have your earbuds in and you're just like staying connected to the universe. You're doing you, Libra. And then you're not going to believe what's right up the path from you. For some of you, I, I feel the energy of you knowing who this person is. For some of you, you could be traveling around this time and you come into a brand new connection. But this person is thinking long term with you. Having faith and trusting in the connection you have with this special person. For some of you, I feel... I know you feel this connection already. Someone, I feel you were betrayed here, Libra. I feel someone was battling inner demons. They were protecting their pride. They were protecting their ego. They dealt with situations that were on the surface and not anything too deep because they were afraid of getting more, like even more hurt or let down. It was something within you that sparked something within them. I feel like this person lies awake at night for those of you that know them. 
lies awake at night thinking a lot about you and how things occurred. And it's like you're that light in their life. It's being divinely guided. All right, Libra, let me know how it resonates. I will be back for many more readings. Leave that money emoji down below. Um, yeah, and I will be back for the weekend readings. Don't let this new moon energy rock you too much. Love and light.